Hey, what's happening, y'all? It's your old pal, Mr. Butter, coming back at you again. Today, I want to get into two of the most hyped up recent releases that we've seen, and I want to go over what my major problem with these pairs is. If you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's take a look at these two recent hyped up releases. So the two pairs of shoes I want to get into today are the recent Medium Olive Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low. I was able to get this pair off of the Travis Scott website. It's the first time I ever got a retail W off of the actual Travis Scott website. Last time I was able to get the Canary Yellow Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low and that was off the sneakers app but I got those in my son's size I went for those in my size and my kid's size and my son's pair was the only one I was able to hit well once again I went for these in my size and my kid's size and my son's size was the only pair I was able to hit but this box looks very familiar to other Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low boxes that we've seen. This is the box for the adult pair of the OG Olive Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low. And I'll get those out and we can compare those. My cousin hit for these off of the sneakers app and he asked me if I was interested in grabbing them. He gave me a good price. They're definitely going for a lot more now than what I paid for them. I think in this size, they're going for around a grand. The kids pair of the medium olives has more of a brown tint to it, whereas the OG olives is a glossy box and the Nike branding looks to be more greenish. Also, the kids pair has a flip top lid and my adult pair has a lid that comes all the way off. And just like we're used to seeing, this pair has that pink Travis Scott Cactus Jack Jordan branded paper. The second pair I wanna get into today is gonna be the Kobe 5 X-Rays that just released. That came in a Kobe box like we've been seeing. It's got that texture that looks like snake skin all over it and then it's got a black sheath and a black Kobe signature, but those are glossy, so it helps it pop out just a little bit more. All right, so first up, we'll start with these bad boys. I think these are incredible. These are so good, and as I mentioned, I did get a kid's pair of the Canary Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low, and whenever I got those, those were nice and everything, but seeing this colorway in hand and having these in hand, it immediately made me want to go to GOAT and look and see what prices were for my size. Right now, they're still selling for around 500 bucks. I know that they'll get more expensive. I know prices will go up, but for me, $500 is a little bit too much to be spending for one pair of shoes. It's better for me to get multiple pairs of shoes because then that's multiple reviews that I can do. The more content I can make, the more I'm going to help my channel grow. So maybe that makes sense, maybe it doesn't. But also for myself, I would have a hard time wearing a pair of shoes if I spent $500 on them. If I spend that much, there is no way I would ever be able to throw them on feet without being super worried about them. I'm still holding out for that retail W for a pair of Travis Scott Jordan 1 Lowe's in my size. And whenever that happens, I hope it's a colorway that is this good because I would love to rock these. I would rock these heavily. I would run these things into the ground if I could get them for retail because I think retail is around 150 somewhere around that and I wouldn't feel bad about it then but if I had to spend $500 on a pair of shoes I mean then I'm thinking okay that's truck payment kind of money and that's like grocery kind of money and that sort of thing and I just can't in good conscience do that I'm not throwing any shade on somebody that does that I mean I am the last person to be pocket watching because as you can tell I spent all kinds of money on these shoes, but I'm just telling you where my head's at. So I am still on the quest to get a personal pair of these Travis Scott Jordan 1 Lows in my size for retail 
so that I can wear them and wear them without feeling bad about it. The crazy thing about this pair is whenever my son saw these, he actually said, Oh, are those for me? Because he really, really loves these. And he doesn't give that kind of reaction often. Right now, his favorite pair of shoes is a pair of the blue MNVNs. And he has absolutely destroyed those. but he really, really loves that pair, and he was excited about those too. But just like that, he really loves these, and he's asked me multiple times, Dad, are those for me? Can I have those? So I think I'll let him run these into the ground. I think that'll be cool to watch. I'll go ahead and get out the adult pair of the OG olives so that we can do a side-by-side -side comparison of the colors and the color blocking. But as you can see, it's got that same pink paper that we saw in that new pair that I grabbed. So here is the OG Travis Scott Jordan 1 Olives. As you can see, it's basically just like the reverse of this new medium olive pair. The base of this pair is a really nice black new buck. And then for the swoosh, you have that kind of army green colored new buck as well. And basically this pair is just the reverse of that. So the base of the newest pair is a green new buck but then for the swoosh it's got a really nice tumbled leather on there but obviously they both have that iconic backward swoosh that lets you know immediately that you're looking at a travis scott and then they both have the smiley faces on the left shoe basically they are exactly the same shoes the materials are a little bit different but the OG pair has black on the base and a green swoosh, and this newest medium olive pair has that medium olive for the base and then a black swoosh. I think both are really good. I probably do prefer the colors on the OG pair slightly to the colors on the medium olives, but as I already said, I would wear these in a heartbeat if I was able to get them in my size for retail. You could say this pair will get as valuable as these OG olives and you could invest $500 in this pair and then it would probably climb to a thousand bucks here in a year or so. And while that might be true, I just don't know if I want to tie up that much money just for the hope that I can double it in a year or something like that and just have them sitting on the shelf. So anyhow, there's the comparison. Let me know down in the comments which colorway you prefer. Let me know if you were able to get these. I'd be interested in hearing it. The one thing that I do like about this medium olive pair is I like how that cactus jack is in red. And on the OG olives, you really can't see that cactus jack writing near as well. The OGs did come with three extra sets of laces, red, green, and black. And this new pair that I got came with sail laces already in it, but it also came with a black and a pink pair. Let me know if the adult pair only came with two extra sets of laces as well. I was thinking the adult pair of these medium olives had three extra colors of laces, but I'm not 100% sure. That's a quick look at this pair. I'm not going to go over every panel and every material because basically it's the same that we've been getting for Travis Scott Jordan 1 Lowe's. It's got the same branding that we see on other tongues. There you can see it says Cactus Jack. On the right insole, it's also got some Travis Scott Cactus Jack branding as well. And maybe my favorite touch on these shoes is just that smiley face that we see on the heel of the left shoe. All right, but with that one out of the way, let's get to this other pair. This is the Kobe 5 X-Ray. And once again, I went for these in my size and then I went for something that my kids could wear in a GS size. Once again, I struck out in my size on all my accounts that I went for these on. I entered a couple of EQL raffles and I tried for these on sneakers as well. And it's no surprise I was not able to hit on these, but I was able to get this GS pair. This is a size six and a half, which is the same as a men's size six and a half. And I got these off of the sneakers app. I love this design. I love these colors. Along with having really cool colors, I just love this graphic that we have of these skeleton feet on this shoe. I also grabbed this t-shirt, which has Kobe's hand on it. 
I'm not sure if you can see it that well, but it's got all his rings and it also points out all the different injuries that he played through throughout his professional career. And I thought that was a great inspiration for this whole release was just kind of paying homage to all the injuries that Kobe sustained while playing. And he just kept pushing through with that Mamba mentality. But these things are freaking awesome. Whenever I did a short of these shoes, somebody said, is the carbon fiber on the bottom of the GS pair real? And I hadn't even checked up until that point, but I can confirm it doesn't have real carbon fiber in there. And I also noticed on the adult pairs, it's a pro tro. On the GS pair, it doesn't say that it's a pro tro. However, I still think these would be excellent to play in. The person that was asking me about the carbon fiber being real also said he didn't want people to think he was wearing fake Kobe's. And that is such a sad statement to me because obviously this is a real pair of Kobe's. I was pretty pumped to hit for these and I think this is a phenomenal design. They glow in the dark and maybe I'll put some B-roll in there and show you how well these glow in the dark along with this t-shirt. Man, check that out. These things glow like crazy. And the outsole glows a different color. That is freaking awesome. I think these things are absolute fire and I know if I could fit into this pair I would wear these to play in I would wear these to play in in a heartbeat but anyhow I couldn't believe that a kid was in my comments saying I just don't want people to say that they're fake and I don't want people to say that they're not real I think that's kind of a sad summary of where we are right now in the sneaker game if a kid who's young enough to wear this size and play ball in this size is concerned that all his friends are going to say he's wearing fake Kobe's when he's legit got a real pair on his feet. I think these would perform quite well on the basketball court and if my feet were small enough to fit in here, I guarantee you I would throw these on without hesitation. And then if somebody accused me of wearing fake Kobe's, I would just laugh at them. But then again, I'm thinking about this from an adult's perspective. So it is crazy to me that a kid would have to hesitate about wearing a GS pair of Kobe's because his friends might say that they're not real. I'm sure with this one not being a real pro tro, there are several slight differences, but I don't have an adult pair to compare them to. But in my opinion, there is nothing about this pair of kicks that jumps out to me looking like it's fake or anything. The one time I did compare the Venice Beach Kobe 8's a GS pair to an adult pair and you could tell some slight differences like with the tongue, the carbon fiber and a couple other things like going up the laces, the stitching was different and that kind of thing but whenever you look at them they both look really cool. Looking at these bad boys pretty much this whole upper is synthetic we have that cool Kobe signature there on the back, and I love those colors. It's like a navy blue and then a nice lighter blue for his signature, and we have that lighter blue for the swoosh as well. And again, I just love this bold graphic on the top, and I think it's awesome that it glows in the dark. They drop these at the perfect time of year with Halloween coming up and that sort of thing. On the tongue, we also get a glow-in-the-dark sheath which is pretty much the Kobe emblem that everybody recognizes. The base of the tongue is mesh and it's in that nice deep blue color. And then we've got some flat blue laces to match. I love the outsole on Kobe 5s and I think this cool blue transparent material looks really great on this pair. Back on the heel, again, we have that Kobe sheath. And as I said, on the GS pair, this carbon fiber area just isn't carbon fiber. I'm not sure what that is, but it's not real carbon fiber. I love these little accents on the front of the shoe. On the right one, it says KB, and on the left shoe, it says 24. The collar area is really padded, and it's got kind of like a satiny type material, but it's that nice deep blue color. And then down on the insole, that is also that blue color, and it's got the Kobe sheath down on there as well. So if you haven't guessed by now, my major issue with these two pickups is just 
I couldn't get my size. And as I said, I don't want to break the bank and pay resale for these. If I was going to buy one for resale, it would probably be the Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low, simply because I wouldn't wear a pair of the Kobe's enough. I'd like to wear them to play basketball in, but I can't get the gang back together ever since COVID happened anyway. So I really wouldn't wear these that much normally day to day, but I think for balling in, these things are absolutely awesome. I'm not really sure where resale is at, but I know they're way more expensive than what the retail price is, especially when you factor in fees and that kind of thing for these but i think they're a really awesome pair of kicks i am going to sell these to a buddy for what i paid for him so that his son can wear them whenever he's playing basketball so i hope that they bring him plenty of mamba mentality my major issue with both these pairs is just that i can't get them for retail in my size but the quest will continue i'm not going to let it get me down and i'm going to keep going after all this heat I'll keep my fingers crossed and maybe one day I'll be able to get a hyped up pair of Kobe's in my size or a hyped up pair of Travis Scott Jordan 1 Lowe's in my size. But anyhow, let me know what you think about these. Let me know if you've had any luck getting any Travis Scott's in your personal size or if you've gotten any cool Kobe's lately. I was able to get some of those team bank colorways of the Kobe's that dropped not too long ago. I got the Lakers home colorway and then that Wolf gray colorway so that's nice to get but i wish they would do numbers of these hyped up releases that are a little bit more unique and a little bit more special so that the masses could get those pairs as well but anyhow i appreciate you all watching tremendously i hope you all have a wonderful day i hope you have plenty of w's coming your way and i will catch you all on the next one i'm out